Hi, my name's Martin Williams. We're in Halifax today to talk about safe streets for everyone, and we're going to look at pedestrian issues. So we're here in a very, very busy time, peak time at uh, Spring Garden Road and Roby. Uh, there's a lot of traffic. I've seen a lot of people having their breakfast while they're in the car. They're not concentrating that hard. Um, so as pedestrians, usually when we see the walk sign, we think it's time for us to go. And often we think that that is a safe period for us to cross. Um, in fact, that's very, very, very far from the truth. It's right on green hazard here. You can see from the footage that um, there's actually a lot of cars that are turning uh, right behind or in front of pedestrians as they cross. Um, so right here we have uh, right turns on red, we have right turns on a green light and left turns on a green light. And that combination together makes for a pretty dangerous mix when you cross the road and that happens the whole time you're uh, on your walk sign. Um, so uh, in actual fact, um, you need to be looking over your shoulder for approaching left turning traffic, watching for right turning traffic on a green and right on a red. And that is why around 40% of incidents in HRM happen at signalized intersections because they're deadly. Drivers here are taking this, uh, this stop as an opportunity to check what's on their mobile phones, uh, catch up on social media. What that means is that they're not really thinking about um, other people when they start their turn. In fact, usually if, if you're making a left turn like this number 80 bus here, if you're a professional driver, you probably know what you're doing. If you're turning outside of the um, directional arrow there, you've got to look for traffic coming straight ahead. Um, during that time, right now, the walk sign is on there and left turning drivers are having to think about uh, cutting through this oncoming traffic here and cutting through pedestrians there, which they will do. They won't wait until all the pedestrians have stopped. Um, so in fact, this is almost certainly why, according to research, why this left turn on a green move while the walk sign is on is such a, uh, a deadly move. It's, it's almost impossible to affect safely for a driver, and that is why pedestrians are constantly hit. Um, there are some ways um, that this can be dealt with, um, especially in, in an urban environment where you've got people um, crossing the road as much. You've probably got as many people crossing the signalised intersection here uh, on foot as you have people in cars. Um, the, the volume is, is probably pretty great um, and so there's a need to think about the safety of those people as well as the people in cars. Um, and what we really need here is an all red phase. So all the traffic signals have a red light and then pedestrians cross in all directions. And this is commonly known here, uh, people talk about scrambles. Um, um, that's where you can cross diagonally as well. Um, that would be amazing, but in fact you don't even need that. You can just have um, the crosswalks as they are now, people walking in all four directions while the four red lights are on. And that would create a safe, traffic-free phase for pedestrians to cross. We've seen a lot of efforts in Halifax to try and reduce pedestrian collisions. And every year we have this um, awareness raising bonanza called Heads Up Halifax. Everybody loves the um, advert showing pedestrians on cell phones. I promise from now on I'm going to walk the talk. Pedestrians in a world of their own because they think that's what is causing the incidents, that it's pedestrians not being aware of what's around them. Um, in fact, a lot of those adverts, um, sometimes they're misleading and they don't concentrate on some of the key conflict areas like this signalised intersection. There's never been an awareness raising program uh, of any kind that I'm aware of that's focused on these uh, crosswalks here and the uh, most serious danger from turning traffic. Um, so that's why you see um, such prolific breaches of the law here from turning traffic, um, because people perhaps might not be aware that, that it is illegal to cut um, past pedestrians while they're crossing on a walk sign. Um, so you can see here, um, someone's blocked off from, from crossing. Um, there are children trying to get to school. Um, drivers are often really oblivious about what they need to do to ensure um, the safety of vulnerable road users. That uh, perception is reinforced by authorities here who talk about pedestrians as traffic, um, as some form of almost on an equal basis to vehicles. Um, when an incident happens, we talk about a pedestrian vehicle collision. In fact, um, you know, you're putting a pedestrian on almost equal terms to a vehicle there. Um, 
fact, it's more accurate to say that a pedestrian has been hit by a vehicle. Uh, we don't collide with, with cars and obviously when we are hit, we're very often very seriously injured or killed because we lack the protection that we would have if we were in a vehicle. An issue which is um, often mentioned here is a lack of crosswalk paints and we have this paint which is looking very faded now which is um, a complies to federal, federal environmental standards um, which means it lasts about five minutes. As soon as the rain comes, it's gone. I'm not sure on an intersection like this, paint makes a lot of difference. Um, if you've got the traffic coming at you from all angles, um, they're not going to be stopped by paint. It doesn't seem to create any extra yielding. You can see this lady here. A uh, car is cutting right behind her. Now, if there's paint there, that's not going to stop that car. Um, so I think that we often think about paint as a means of affecting crosswalk safety. I'm not sure it does, um, but certainly for the mid-block crosswalks, when they get very faded and you've got those two white signs either side, which nobody sees, um, then I think uh, crosswalk paint is more important. And um, where I live uh, on Dutch Village Road, for about nine months of the year, you can't even see them and, and it's extremely treacherous. So last week, City Councillor Sean Cleary proposed that we review our right on red rule. So we have more intersections where right on red is not permitted because we're concerned this might be unsafe for pedestrians. The response from many drivers was that this might cause gridlock. I'm not sure because when I see people turn right on red, it's often just one or two cars maximum per cycle. That isn't really going to affect uh, congestion that much. It's simply a convenience for drivers to nip through while the going's good. What Matt Whitman pointed out uh, with uh, Sean Cleary's right on red proposal is in fact far more collisions here are caused by left turn on green while pedestrians are walking and that's absolutely true. So what if we made things totally safe? We had no right turn on red, no, uh, no left turn on a green and no right turn on a green while pedestrians cross. So we get no conflicts and we get to walk in peace without having to worry about traffic. Would that cause gridlock? I don't think so, because in fact uh, you would find that pedestrians are much more comfortable crossing the road, people would be more confident about not using their cars, more people would use transit, so in fact traffic levels would be reduced and congestion might even be reduced. So this has hopefully um, highlighted some of the hazards which pedestrians face um, on signalised intersections and the key hazard here is um, turning traffic coming at you from three directions at once and it's very hard as a pedestrian to monitor. In HRM we're trying to move forwards with getting more walking, more people on bicycles, um, more people using transits and bottom line that means safer signalised intersections for pedestrians. So thanks for watching, you can join the conversation online, Twitter and Facebook, HRM Safe Streets for Everyone. And this was a video production by Dagley Media. That's a nice little illegal park there.